In this micro nugget, we're going to talk about some Juno show command options, particularly the match. Did your mother ever tell you to be careful of questions that you ask? You know, don't ask a question that you don't want to hear the answer to. Well, when you're working on a router or a switch, it's really exactly the same thing. The device will tell you exactly what you ask for, but be careful. Sometimes it's a lot. So when I'm looking at things with a show command, like show interfaces, I actually have options, things that I can do, things that it'll tell me about. So show interfaces terse as an example will give me exactly that, just a very brief output of what there is, the interfaces, their status, and an up, down, and an address. Simple stuff. My normal view, so just show interfaces and hit enter, will give me more information, includes a lot of the specifics for the interface uh, that will start to get into, well, I, I don't want to call it detailed information because we have detail also, but it does give me more information about an actual interface. Now detail, on the other hand, gets me into packets per second, gets me into my queuing options, uh, gets me into uh, some of the states of logic versus physical that are happening to it. And then of course there's extensive, which goes even further into my input and output errors, into my queuing errors, into my max statistics, so really getting down to the interface itself, and give me a whole lot of information. Now it can take me a long time to parse through all that. So the question is, what happens when I want specific information, but I don't want to take all day to read everything in order to find it? And that's where we get into some of the options for match. For a match command on interfaces, I figured it'd be a little bit more fun to go onto a live router. So anyway, the, the match command is where I would see us spending most of our time in terms of what we want to use. So let's pick a, a command like show interface. Uh, and, and when we do this, we'll, we'll get a lot of information, you know, obviously tells me about the link speed and packets per second and just a, a whole bunch of stuff on there that I may not necessarily need. And keep in mind, without specifying an interface, it'll give me every single one of them. So I'll start to kind of narrow things down in terms of what it is that I happen to be looking for. Uh, so as an example, match physical will tell me whether it's going to be up or down and kind of give me a quick list like that. Uh, again, still a good number of them, but it will tell me exactly what it is that I'm looking for. I can go and, and further do things. So if I wanted to look at the link speed or, or the, the link being up or down and packets per second, uh, so one way that we can do things, we can actually match more than one thing. We'll kind of give you a little bit of trick on here. So if we went through and did a match PPS as well, the problem is it's not going to give us anything. Because doing match commands like this creates a logical and. Okay? So the problem is none of my lines are going to have the word physical and the word PPS in there. So I'll need to go back and kind of rearrange things a little bit in terms of making it into an or scenario. And to do that, I actually use the pipe again, which logically makes an or symbol to it, but I'll have to put the things in quotes in order to make that work. So now I will get my the lines that I want. So multiple things going on here, but the link itself being up as well as the packets per second. Now again, I'm getting lots of information in here that I may not want to do. So I can add more criteria in there. So like as an example, I can do an accept down. All right. Well, that narrowed things down a little bit. I'm only looking at interfaces that are up now, but keep in mind that I do have some extra ones that are gonna give me like this right here, where I see all of these rates, but really has nothing to do with anything, any interface, because I don't see what it is. So let's also go ahead and exclude or accept the zero PPS. Anytime you're going to have a space, by the way, or, or multiple characters like that, you'll need to go ahead and put it in quotes so that it knows to actually can, uh, keep those in there. So this is more an output that I would see gives me what I want. I want to know what things are up, and it can tell me multiple interfaces being up, but really I'm concerned with the which interfaces are actually doing something. And I can see by this my fast ethernet 000 and fast ethernet 001 on this router are actually doing something. So I don't have a whole lot of traffic going on here, but it tells me what's up with it. So, you know, looking back at this, 
I'll put my question mark here again. So going through those things, that's really going to give me my, my best list of what it is that I want to do in there. Okay, so match in in my mind is probably the most prevalent. Uh, except being a good one to go along with that. Um, count is useful. Find is useful. Um, you know, the, each of those things. The last can be useful if I'm doing logs. Those are probably the primary ones that I'm going to end up doing. I hope this micro nugget has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.